Wiccans cast spells very carefully if they know what they're doing. They use the power of the divine. They work guided by it. I always suggest that people do a little divination before they undertake uh, spell casting, that they ask if it's appropriate to cast the spell, and that they ask for guidance in casting the spell so that they get information. Uh, the symbols that come up will uh, help you to determine what, which element you want to work with, whether you want to work with air or fire or water or earth or a combination of them. Uh, and if you're given advice not to do it, uh, take the advice. If you're going to go ahead, um, my recommendation in casting any kind of a spell, is while you want to have um, a specific purpose, a goal in mind, an intent, the uh, risk with all spells is that we tap into our unconscious and we do it unconsciously. And there are all kinds of complications dwelling down there. Nothing evil, nothing dire, uh, but complications, the things that we have yet to learn about ourselves. And that is, in fact, one of the points of a spell not working out or not working out as you intend. It's an opportunity to learn something you needed to learn about yourself. Okay. So um, the safeguard in, um, in dealing with these um, uh, unknown unconscious forces that can influence the outcome of a spell uh, is by using the sacred as your partner. One way is by asking advice, by using divination, by engaging in dialogue with the divine. The other way is um, an almost foolproof method that I really love, which is uh, to leave a certain space. I always do this when I do any kind of ritual. I never overscript. And when you do a spell, you never overscript. You always leave a space for the divine to express itself in the, in the outcome of the event. So, if you need transportation to get to work, I think we were talking about that before, if you need transportation to get to work, you don't ask for a Ferrari, you ask for transportation. Um, if you need a new apartment, you don't ask for you know, the penthouse on Park Avenue, you ask for a new home. You trust the universe uh, to help you um, in finding the thing that's right for you at the time that you cast the spell. And the spell is not uh, a pleading with a divinity that is greater than you and looking down on you because you're weak and helpless. In fact, it's a partnership. So um, you must go to the, the indwelling divinity, the well of your own gifts, and bring that out creatively. That's what a spell is. It is this work of art. Um, you can go to a book and copy a spell and follow it precisely, but we're not dealing with uh, a mechanical universe. You're living, with it, you're living within um, a living, conscious, sacred universe. And so um, you need to approach it as such. And that's the essence of casting a, a successful spell, that you respect um, the sacred universe, you invoke it as your partner, you ask for its guidance, you work with its energy, and you trust it to provide the outcome that's best for you. Um, and that's what you ask for in a spell. Whatever the topic of the spell is, you ask for the best outcome. Uh, and that's a great way to cast a great spell.